three cross bites. That is destiny. Here, the palate is so contracted on both sides and anteriorly that the upper cuspids simply cannot find a way down. The negative OVJ had a skeletal cause. Anya's dad and granddad share their destiny too, that of a long mandible. There is obviously no space for those canines to erupt. And if that weren't enough, the RX showed some kind of dysmorphic upper premolar that did not seem very keen on erupting spontaneously. Just destiny. First of all, that deciduous tooth had to be extracted, and it was. Now, best thing to do in skeletal third classes is to use a palatal expander associated to a face mask. Unfortunately, Anya was 12 when she showed up at the office, way too late for that. But we went on with the expansion and corrected the lateral crossbite. The opening of the mid palate suture created a diastema between the upper incisors. The same incisors then closed back up the diastema, pulled by their transeptal fibers, that created some space mesial to the lateral incisors, and therefore some space for the canines. Expansion of the premolars was just as useful for that. Now, time to take care of the anterior crossbite. I bonded some resin on Anya's lower molars, allowing for the eventual incisor's bite jump. In fact, as the resin creates a pre-contact with the upper molars, upper incisors have now free way to move forward. I then proceeded with a full engagement of the upper teeth. That brought down the canines very quickly and aligned the upper arch. But still, the anterior crossbite would not solve. So I just asked the patient to wear full-time third-class elastics that push forward the upper dentition and pull back the lower one. But again, it was a failure. Desperate, I added a power chain on the lower arch to make the lower incisors lose some torque. But nope, it seems like it really was destiny. Of course, I had previously warned the parents of a possible surgical outcome, and I was prepared to tell them. But wait, wait a second. Can you think of some other way to solve this situation? If you were in my shoes, what would you have done? Orthodontists, the second part of this soap opera will be continued when I see you next time.